Hi there, welcome to Wine Searcher. Today I thought I'd look at what is possibly one of the um, most exciting Chardonnays on the market at the moment, although probably lucky to find it. That's Kimi Rivers Matty's Vineyard Chardonnay. Um, so this is a local wine for us here in Auckland. Um, Kimi is about 20 kilometres down the, the valley behind us. The Kimi River flows into the Kuiper, which you might be able to see us be, see behind there. Um, why is this exciting? Well, I, I mean, over the last few years, there have been a number of tastings. Um, one of them even ended up on a film um, where people have compared the wines of Kimi River to top Premier Cru, Grand Cru Burgundies. Um, and in those tastings, blind tastings, these wines have come out, the wines from Kimi River, especially the Matties, have come out as the top wines. Um, to uh, cap those achievements last year uh, at the end of 2021 the um, high profile criti critic american critic james suckling uh, named this as his wine of the year for 2021 um, matty's vineyard is a, a single vineyard if you um if you if you go to the winery it's it's the vineyard immediately across the road it's a low hill uh, it's quite heavy clay soil um, and thus has to be managed properly to, to maintain the vigour of the vines. And, and, and one of the keys to the quality of these wines is the amount of work which the, the Brakovich family who, who um, run Kimi River put into doing this because they, they have, um, they have liar trellising to make sure that they're, they're harnessing the vigour that these quite um, heavy water holding soils uh, can produce. And, and pardon if I'm getting a bit technical here, but the um, the liar trellising and a, a lack of um, irrigation as well ensures that there's there's almost no shade because if you have too much shade with grapevines between the leaves uh, that ends up putting um, metal salts potassium into the wine and it can have high acidity um, but the salts buffer that and um, as a result that acidity is not effective whereas this i suspect is going to be lovely and fresh and crisp and um, there um, the uh, the name Matty's Vineyard, named after um, Matty, the father of the, of the the people who currently run the the, the, the vineyard. So Michael, uh, Mariana, Paul, and Milan. Um, their mother Melba is is still with us. Um, doesn't quite take as active a part in running the winery as I think she'd like to these days. But um, uh, sh she and her um, husband Matty um, work to work to take an existing vineyard that uh, Matty had built up with his father um, to a stage where it was producing some of the best quality wines in, 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 in the country. Certainly for Chardonnay, I think Kimi River um, is generally accepted to, to, make, to make the best wines um, that New Zealand makes in, in, in this area. Um, and Matty's is their top, top vineyard. So to have a look at the wine, um, what have we got? We've got a pale to medium yellow, maybe tiny touches of gold. Um, smelling it there oh there's a um, lovely pungency there there's a, almost a sort of a, a lemon curd note and then as I as I sniff more there's a, it, actually it's more pungent than lemon curd it's a lime and there's a sort of a, a t tiny floral top note um, I mean this is a, a, a barrel fermented Chardonnay I'd expect the oak to come out more obviously but it's not um, tasting it gosh it's full there's plenty of flavor there but it's not heavy the alcohol doesn't come out as particularly high I didn't see what it was it was um I mean that's only 13 percent so maybe for a premier crew burgundy you'd expect that to be slightly higher maybe 13 and a half the freshness as I was expecting is there's a lovely clean sharpness runs throughout the wine but the wine has enough weight that it doesn't seem angular as a result it's, it's just giving freshness and it's lifting that sort of lemon curd lime curd note out of it there are sort of buttery touches but actually those are sort of in the background because of the freshness and the fruit forward note of it i often find that the, the denseness and the weight of matties um from previous vintages has made me think well i'm going to leave that for five ten years before i come back to it but this this is so fresh and delicious now that I can still taste it. I'm really salivating. This is a delicious wine. So, um, yes, well done to the Brakovich's. Uh, thanks. Bye now.